I asked you guys to get me 10,000 likes and we'll continue this campaign and make Mamalux great again and well that's exactly what's gonna be happening here today and yes that's correct I got a brand new camera because the old one actually broke down I don't know if the quality is better for this one or not but it's a Romanian camera so I expect it to be gone in a few days I don't know what will happen and I'm scared somebody hold me all right so let's uh, recap a little bit here we have our empire stretching all the way from Morocco up to the doorstep of India and we will be attacking Sin soon but until that point and if you're curious to know what happened and how we got here you'll have the link to the first part in the description below right now we need to recover our economy so our main focus is to catch up since we've essentially expanded like crazy and we've taken a massive amount of loans in order to expand like crazy so the first step is gonna be to chill for a little bit integrate the vassals that we have because we got a lot of vassals here as well as fix our economy and catch up with our technology since well we are let's say lagging a little bit behind with our tech in fact I'm even oh what the snaps just happened <laughs> What? The Ottomans just declared war on me. Uh, re okay. Traitorous Ajam did not join up. <laughs> We're not chilling anymore because we got to fight the Ottomans, boys. Oh, Lord. Did not expect this. All right. Let's, let's try and not die to the Ottomans now. I actually just deleted my mercenary army. I think that's why they attacked me and I'm really far behind with tech. They knew what's up. We're going to avoid fighting them for a little bit up until we manage to get the, um military at least up to tech eight to match them or seven because we're still on military tech six so it's pretty bad i've used a lot of my mana points previously to basically just get a ton of naval barrages done and i've also recruited a lot of generals so hindsight i probably should not have wasted my military mana as much as i did but hey you know what this makes it a little bit more spicy this makes it a little bit more interesting having to fight the ottomans early on against all odds well, I wouldn't say against a lot. They only have... Okay, they got fairly same size army as we do. Only difference is they have better units than us, sadly. But you know what? We still have a stronger and bigger fleet than they do. So we're going to use that and we're going to try and blockade the straits here of the Marmara. Prevent them from going in between the Balkans and Anatolia whenever they want to. Before we continue, I'm super excited to introduce you to Yahaha, who is sponsoring this video. A brand new user-generated content creation platform. Yahaha allows you to create and publish your your own games without any coding experience or server knowledge. Simply use the smart assets in Yahaha Studio and make your dream virtual worlds come true. There's literally millions of ready to use 3D assets stored in Cloud Drive which can be real time streamed to local client when you need to use them. After you're done creating you can publish your creation to the Yahaha cross platform app both for mobile and PC where other players can discover your work and you can play together. As you guys know, I'm a massive fan of the Tolkien universe, so I've started creating a small little world here filled with the orcs, trolls, and we might even add some EU4 players to it. Simply type in here, say orc, then you got your orc model, and view this in scene. Now it's time to do a little bit of exploring. Don't miss out on the fun and use my link below to join Yahaha's early access now for free. Alright, we managed to get uh, military tech 7, so that means we now can build artillery pieces. It's about time that we did to be fair and it also means that we should be able to hold on to our arses whenever the Ottomans attack us are you kidding me they already managed to break the they literally got here a second ago did they barrage this or something holy mother of god come on recruit the artillery we gotta fight these bastards <laughs> feel like the Ottomans are a little bit too strong just saying all right time to fight them should be fairly uh good fight here because it is on our terrain and we can oh we can stack wipe them <laughs> That's why you get Ottomans for trying to fight against the might of the uh, Mamelukes here. Oh, we didn't stack wipe them, but at least we managed to do a little bit of damage to them. Now we can start sieging down these lands. They don't have any forts on the Anatolian side. Oh my god, this is gonna be easy mode. And of course, they take forts at 7%. I take them at at least 71% because why not, right? And yes, I am a little bit salty right now. Dude, are you actually freaking kidding me? Did they just take Adana in 31 days? Hold on a second. Two ticks they took this? Wow. And my army is now, uh, oh, oh god. 
please at least win the freaking battle. I really feel like the autumn has got massively buffed, dude. Like, what is this? Seriously, what is this? <laughs> All right, well, now that I notice the Ottomans have mostly gone to the Balkan side, I'm going to use my fleet and I'm going to blockade the Straits and take over these three provinces, which means I'm going to have all of the Anatolian side all to myself since the Ottomans are not here. And since they don't have any fortifications to defend this area either. And they're on to me, boys. They literally crossed the Straits as soon as my army reached Coachelli. Two can play that game because I'm just going to go back and I'm going to siege the Balkan side in that case. If you do, I'm quick in Barajas, Ava, Unzi, uh, Asaltius, Constantinople, since we got to take these both. Nice. Now, we're going to get all the juicy war score from the two fortifications that they actually have in Kruje and Edirn, and also on Siege, all the stuff that they siege. This officially turned into a game of who can siege who faster. Oh, what? They called in the Moroccans? Bro! Oh, God, I gotta make another army now to uh, defend against the Moroccans. Fair enough. Well, at least they're focusing on Granada, so that's gonna buy us a little bit of time. With the entirety of the Balkan side of the Ottoman siege down, their economy is gonna start collapsing fast, but they regret messing with us now since basically they're going into bankruptcy at some point in the nearby future. Look at this, their income is 8.5 ducats, bruh. We're making gains in the war, but it's becoming more of a hassle than it's worth, so I'm just gonna piece them out. I'm taking the islands, this way I increase the amount of ships that I can have, and I can start recovering my nation. The initial plan that I had before, right? We're going back to that again. Hopefully this time nothing else interferes with our plans, and we can start integrating our vassals as well, since I didn't enable scootage before, so I couldn't integrate them during the war. Wait, what? Hungary is a one province minor? Holy schnapps, that would have been a juicy vassal right there. But uh, looks like uh, Austria has beaten me to the punch here with their unification war. And I mean, whilst we're recovering our economy, we can of course kill some smaller nations around us here and there. It's not like anyone's actually gonna notice anyway. I mean, let's face it, it's about time that we take back Lower Egypt, isn't it? Oh wait, was this Upper Egypt? Yes, I think this is Upper Egypt. Oh, what has happened to you, Tunis? Once a great nation, I'm talking about Carthage here, not actual Tunis, by the way. But yeah, once a great nation, now you're nothing but a small little schnitzeldorp in my way that I need to remove. And now it's time for another war against the Moroccans, since we still need to take the southern bits here all the way into Ifni in order to restore the Caliphate. And guess what, guys? Next time you feel bad about your game, just remember, I deleted my entire COG fleet by mistake, so I have no way of transporting ships around to my islands. By the way, guys, if you enjoyed the videos, consider subscribing. It would really mean the world to me and help me out so much more than you can imagine. Pretty much carpet siege Morocco down so we can get our peace deal. I'm not gonna take the northern bits. I'll let the... The Portuguese take that if they want it. Instead, I'm taking all of the south here, and I'm also going to ask them to give me war reparations on all their money, so I can start fixing my own economy with that money. All right, well, we dealt with our rebellions, and now it's time to actually fight against the Ottomans, properly fight against the Ottomans. We're going to set our war target in uh, Karaman, since we're going to feed back Karaman its cores. I even managed to convince Austria to join me here, as long as I give them some land, which, of course, I will give them. And the only reason I managed to ally them is because they rival the Ottomans, so always check what arrivals the enemy that you have has so you can perhaps get an alliance with them. Sometimes I feel like the Ottomans are basically the United States of the Middle Ages. If that would be the case, what would the name of Sleepy Joe be? Joe Med Osmanoglu? <laughs> Ah, look at those delicious zero dice rolls. I freaking love this game sometimes. It's just, it's, it's the best thing ever. <laughs> So now that we have all of the Anatolian parts under our control, we can focus on the allies of the Ottomans and crush them whilst the Ottomans are basically fighting the Austrians here, who surprisingly are not crumbling in front of the Ottoman armies. They're actually winning a couple of battles even. So I might keep the Austrians around as an ally for a little bit longer, maybe even give back some of the provinces that their Hungarian PU have. Otherwise, this is the worst PU in the world. I mean, one province minor personal union bruh. We're also gonna do a quick cheeky war against Biapas since they're allied to the Timurids, but because the Timurids are in our war against the Ottomans, they cannot help out their uh, Biapasian ally. So we're gonna piece these guys out before we piece out the Ottomans. Snake all around here. So we have a border with Transoxiana, which we obviously want to expand into, of course. Also, a little bit weird how Granada managed to get to their capital before I did. I mean, weren't these guys on the other side of the map? What happened here? A siege of Biapas 
Media Pass is done, so let's fully annex these boyos here. Welcome to the uh, Great Mameluk Caliphate, boys. You'll be happier with us, trust me. I'm totally not super biased. <laughs> and since we got that out of the way, we can finally do our peace deal with the Ottomans. We could have done it a while back, but we just, we had to wait for this. So let's get all of these cores back to our two Vassalan, namely Karaman and Bulgaria, which means that we can start integrating Karaman and Bulgaria now. And it also means we got massive amounts of land in the Balkans and Anatolia. Plus, we got some money so we can fix our economy. We're not doing amazing economically speaking still, so we got to focus on that. But at the same time, we'll do a couple of wars here and there. So Mixon having fun with Mixon making some monies, okay? And it's time to start marching where Alexander the Great a long time ago marched into the uh, Parthian slash Transoxanian lands and also into Afghanistan, the graveyard of empires, including the American one. Oh, what? What do you say? Oh, schnapps. I'm just kidding. It was a joke, fellow CIA operative that keeps watching my videos. Please, please, I want to live. I also have to say I'm quite impressed with Ming in the recent update. They keep doing the reforms and they're not collapsing. In fact, they're actually expanding quite a little bit in most of my playthroughs. So whatever they did, they definitely boosted up the uh, Ming AI. Ooh, avec les goulets stones. Can you go up to 99%? No, no, you're just gonna stay stuck in 71% and still not fall. What a great little fortification, isn't it, boys? Oh, oh, that's the second 71% that it did not fall on. Can we get a third one, please? Third? There you go, boys. Third set. I hate this game. I freaking hate this game. So, I'm not saying that my expansion into Transoxiana is essentially a big tentacle, but it looks like a big tentacle. We're essentially the Mameluk octopus here, spreading our tentacles around the world. And just as I said that, a Japanese anime company is gonna make a, uh anime about that wait when did the two sicilies actually form here i didn't even notice these guys and tuscany formed as well well that's pretty easy i, I see tuscany form a lot of times to be fair wait did the venetians just declare war on ottomans <laughs> yes they did venetian crusade against the ottomans bro moment so next up i want to get rid of what's left in the arabian peninsula and in order to do that i actually have to attack a gem which is out uh, wait what did a gem just uh sneakily attack transoxiana yes they did no that's no guy that did which by the way, he is a pretty big nation that pretty much ate most of its neighbors here, including most of Kazan. Wow, that should be an interesting war in that case. Let's attack a jam. We're going to call in the Timurids, and we're not going to cooperate these guys because they are also allied to the Timurids. Oh, with religious quantity, we got our first military policy, the morale of armies policy. So essentially, it's kind of like having defensive ideas for the extra morale without having defensive ideas. Hey, everybody, anyone see where Hasa? I went oh seriously Hasa I cannot take max money from you but I can take three ducats less and fully annex you what where's the logic in that oh no oh I forgot they have one province in Bahrain oh okay I see the logic in that now and also damn I hate this now I have an annoying little Bahraini province here I feel like the biggest Pepega in the world after doing this and uh, Oman I cannot fully annex because again they did not I did not co-belligerate them but still we took a massive chunk out of their land so i'm happy with what i took plus now i got direct access to the timurids so i can just uh, walk on over to sind when that war happens honestly don't need anything from uh, a jam i only did the war to take the provinces from uh, the arabian lands and i'm just gonna get some more reps and money from them to fix my economy i guess and also we're gonna be getting ready for our indian wars because that's where all the money's hiding and we need the indian money to buy bollywood movies and make flying space in fields of barley. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, you clearly never watched an Indian movie. The long-awaited reclamation of Sindh is here. Let's again call in the uh, Timurids. We're basically using them as our little punching bag since uh, everybody attacks Timurid lands rather than our lands because, you know, we're a massive conglomerate here. Holy mother of God, Bahmanis has half of India already. That is absolutely amazing. Oh, they got a coalition of half of India as well. Holy snaps, how many countries in this coalition? Well, it's not really 
early half of India, mainly the uh, Hindu areas at least. Oh my boys, we have the Commonwealth just formed here. Holy snaps, they're massive. There, that's the longest Commonwealth I've seen the AI form in a while. And apparently Muscovy is not doing great here. Ooh, the Shun Dynasty appeared. Oh boy, that's interesting. That means Ming is basically split in half. Yes, it is. With the northern bits belonging to Shun now. How is Oirat over? What? What happened here? Hold on a second. I'm curious what the snaps happened here. Oh, and look at that. Japan actually formed. And it looks like they have the entirety of the Japanese islands. We really just need the coastline so we can reach the province of Tata. And that's what I'm taking because I got to attack Mewar to get Tata since Mewar took this from Sind a while back without me even noticing. I don't know what happened in India, but definitely there was a ton of action here. And I'm going to use the Holy War CB, which is 75% aggressive expansion. Basically, the Dewa's Vote CB, but for Islam, which I guess is the Jihad CB, you would call it, right? Am I wrong about that? And the great part about using the Jihad CB is that you also increase your piety, which means that you can lower your corruption, which in turn means you can debase and get free money for this. So the more Holy Wars you have, the more free money you get from your religious interaction. I have to say, I really like the way that the uh, Mamluk sprites look like. I'm not sure if they actually had this type of armor back in the 1500s though, or better yet, the 1400s, I guess. That's when we start the game. But it does look really fancy. Wait, what? The Venetians launched a second crusade against the Ottomans, bruh. Oh no, my leader died. Oh, this is bad. Oh, come on. Really? So, from Mewar, what I really, really want, I wanna, I wanna, I really, really wanna zig zig. Ah, no, I just wanna get Mewar because it's got the gold mine. That's it. That, that's all I want from them. <laughs> also, I can uh, snake my way into the uh, Idari and eventually Bahmani lands as well, since I got a little bit of a snake done in here as well. I didn't push this war for too much because um, I got bigger fish to fry in the western part of my empire, if you know what I mean. It's time that we finally get rid of the North African nations. They're illegal. We did not approve their existence. And as consequence, we have to take them out, obviously. This is all Mameluk lands. They just never knew about this before. Oh my lord, the Venetians destroyed the Ottomans, man. They literally made them release half of these countries. And now they're attacked by the Crimeans. Their former ally and bestest of bestest friend backstabbed them the good old Tatar way. Now I just want to see one juicy Crimean province somewhere here. That would be the best thing ever. <laughs> oh no, they're probably just going to take Kaffa, aren't they? And of course, Trebizond had to take all of these lands. I like the uniform they got too. It's like a pet peasant discovered chainmail all of a sudden and he put it on that that's the standard army uniform here in Trebizond <laughs> obviously the gold mine in Tafilat is gonna deplete because why would we actually not have all of our gold mines deplete right if that happens to you by the way guys you literally can just alt f4 and back up and use the save from a couple of months before I'm not gonna do it because I don't care that much about it to be fair my economy right now is mainly coming from uh, production and trade with the Alexandrian node being my main source of income to be fair. Crimea just released all of the Balix. It's basically a Swedish buffet for me here boys. And also they're fighting amongst each other like Kandar and Eretna. What is this man? Seriously. I'm gonna kill them all. I'm gonna absolutely kill them all. I got good relations with them? What? No. Get out of here. Kandaris be like, yo we fight in Eretna son. And Eretna be like, yo, we also fight in Eretna. Wait, what? Who is fighting Eretna? I'm gonna be fighting Eretna very soon. We send an eines Konflin in Sultanstein. Avaria, they still exist? Holy mother of God. I didn't even realize they're still around, man. All right, let's, uh, let's Kobladrate Germion and, um, basically kill everybody here. And now Valachia declared war on the Ottomans. Vlad Dracula taking a little bit of a revenge, I'm guessing. Let me actually check my, uh, overextension. I don't really want to go over 100 over extension. I'm at 70. All right, that's actually acceptable. I think we have enough to take the other two Balix from uh, the Ottomans and maybe a few provinces from gone. Likely will not fully annex them though. Boom shakalaka. All the uh, Turkic people are unhappy with us because we're conquering their people here. I'm trying my best to both explore the new world as well as the uh, Asian parts because obviously our main goal is to reach the juicy Australian lands for that amazing switch 
switch on over to Australia as the Caliphate. And we're getting there, boys. We are definitely getting there. I did everything I could in my powers, but I still went over to 120 over extension. It's not as bad as it seems, though, because a lot of these cores are going to finish soon enough. We are lagging behind with our admin points, which is why I've actually decided to focus on admin now to get that little extra oomph that I need to core all the next to come provinces because I'm, I'm gonna take a lot of provinces in the nearby future don't worry don't worry about it okay let's uh let's go ahead and attack these guys here whoa 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 seven days oh my freaking god please don't change your mind in seven days dude holy snaps if the french don't join in that's like oh dude this is gonna be so easy now so freaking easy now it's just the italians oh la schmack de boo de boo that's uh that's arabic okay just just trust me and again i forgot to enable scootage on my vassals to start integrating them i'm just the biggest brain gamer around <laughs> Luckily for us, though, the Venetians hate the two Sicilians. That sounds weird. That that really... It's like two Sicilian dudes, and then all of Venice hates them. No. Okay, this, this country is just... It has a weird name, or I'm gonna call it from now Bob. The Venetians hate Bob, so that's why they gave me military access through their country. It's also time that we finish off the Ottomans, and... Oh, God, that sounds so weird. Finish off the... I really need to be careful what I say, man. Like, these things can be really taken out of context, can't they? Hey! what happened to the timrids how come sistan is a massive blob of a nation now oh okay i see what happened so the timrids got their asses kicked they released sharjah what is it even worth attacking sharjah i don't think so five development ah you know what i need to take this province i might as well get a claim on it all right boys time to get rid of the ottomans from this area a little bit of a coalition actually i'm surprised with that but it is what it is and daria go no more otomanski completely gotten rid of the ugliest map color ever we all know the ottomans realistically would be red on the map oh never mind i completely forgot they have the province of maramuresh oh dude are you kidding me the great ottoman empire is located in romania for real right now <laughs> the the last remnants of the ottomans are in the northern bits of transylvania which by the way should not be ruthenian should be romanian oh bruh moment imagine if somebody vassalizes them now <laughs> they would have have cores in the entirety of Anatolia plus weirdly enough not the entirety of the Balkans did they get their cores revoked by the Venetians I guess so the Venetians had like five crusades against them in total it's insane man what happened in the Balkans I know some of you guys think that maybe I'm faking it or some shit but legit speaking I get a lot of 70 something percent sieges I mean I don't know what's happening and it's only happening in the recent freaking updates man like in 1.31 1.32 I never had these issues maybe it's just my personal luck or maybe i'm just paying too much attention to it i guess i really don't know i actually thought this would be a cakewalk of a war right since it's only the italians but legit this was the toughest war i've had in this entire session i mean worse than the ottoman one i had to rebuild my fleet twice because of these bastards now we can take their snaps and there you go boys we got calabria messina palermo all that juicy stuff which means we can now unify islam and become the caliphate Oh, boom. All right, that's it. Pretty much it. Now we changed our uh, Mamula government reform with the feudal theocracy. We can go back to the Mamula government if we want to, though, so keep that in mind. The feudal theocracy is also pretty good, though, so it's your choice. Remember that the feudal theocracy gives you the construction cost reduction, the dev cost reduction in your capital area, and the sanctioning of holy war. However, for us, it's not a big deal since we already have the Deus Vult from the religious ideas. The best part, though, is the fact that we get the unified Islam modifier, which is actually going to be super helpful. And through a combination of both conquering and eliminating the natives as well as a little bit of colonization We finally managed to get our colony in Australia. We're gonna name this nation Meme Straya bros Meme Straya. Can I get a hellish movie in the chat boys for Meme Straya here? The obvious smart thing would be to continue this save with this Chad Lord of a nation that we have Which at this point basically has most of the African lands as as well as pretty much, well, the entirety of the Middle East, let's say. All right, I also vassalized the, the Timurids because they have a lot of cores, and I still forgot to integrate the Byzantines. But all that aside, I am going to be releasing myself as Meme Streya, and I'm going to play as this Chad Lord of a Nation here. If we get 10,000 likes, 
Wait, why do I have five merchants? What does this nation have? Oh my god, they got insane yeah. ideas. <laughs> They went economic third. That is so freaking derpy right there. Let's see what reforms. All right, we are a republic. That makes sense. And we have a Chad Lord, Uthman Baibars, 556. But yeah, boys, only if we get 10,000 likes. Otherwise, if there's no interest in this meme run here, it's probably going to be a very short run for that matter because we, we we have 1.18 total income, boys. That that's We, we can have five units. <laughs> Until the next time, check out this awesome Ottomans game. And I want to give a massive thank you to all of my patrons patrons, channel members, and Twitch subscribers. I would not be able to do this without all your support. 